Okay, we got some news to talk about because Frankie Montas is going on the IL, but the Yankees' defense just got even better. So let's get right into this. So Frankie Montas is going on the 15-day IL with right shoulder inflammation. This is retroactive to the 17th, so he is going to miss almost the entirety of the season because of this injury. And a lot of fans have speculated that he's been playing injured because he's been a totally different player than who the Yankees traded for. With Oakland, he had a 3.18 ERA. With the Yankees, 6.35. He's just been a totally different player. I would not be surprised if he has been playing injured over the last couple of weeks. There's a slim chance that he will start in the postseason because if he comes off the IL in 15 days, so as quickly as he can, then he might get one start before the postseason and then they, you know, stretch him a little bit. But I I don't know. We're, we're just going to have to see how well he's doing then. But I'm hoping he comes back next year and dominates is he, he really can be a great pitcher. We just haven't seen that from Montas, so wishing him the best. But the other bit of news here is that the Yankees are adding Harrison Bader to the squad. Now, the defense on the Yankees is absurd now, because if you don't know, Bader is one of the best defensive center fielders in all of baseball. And I really like Bader. Obviously, the Jordan Montgomery trade does not look good right now, especially with Montas going on the IL. It does not look like a good trade, but at the same time, I'm excited to see what Bader can do. Because in my mind, we're going to get, at worst, a league average hitter who is one of the best defensive center fielders in all of baseball. That can be really exciting to see. And the Yankees' defense is exceptional now. It was great before. It is crazy good now. Um, Kind of breaking down the defense here. At third base, you have Josh Donaldson, and yes, he has not hit that well this season, but he has been amazing at third. He's in the 94th percentile in outs above average. Really good. At shortstop, you have Oswald Peraza. You know, he's He was one of the Yankees' top prospects, and everyone was talking about how good of a defensive shortstop he was. That was the main thing scouts would say. His glove is ready for the majors. The bat just might be a little behind. That's what scouts were saying a couple of months ago. Now he's in the majors, and we're seeing he's a pretty good defender. I'm excited to see what he can really do, given a uh, full season next year. So, really good defense at third, really good at short. Then, TJ LeMayhew, when he returns, he can play second or third. And he is amazing defensively. He's in the 96th percentile in outs above average. And then you have Rizzo at first base. You know, he scoops practically every single throw that comes towards him, just aiding the elite defenders in that infield already. Jose Trevino behind the plate. He is the best he is the best catcher in MLB when it comes to framing. He's in the 100th percentile. And we know the Yankees care about that a lot. You know, stealing strikes, making a pitch that's a ball look like a strike. That matters a ton, and he's the best at that in all of baseball. Then you have Harrison Bader in center field, one of the best defensive center fielders in all of baseball. You have Judge in right field, and Judge has done a good job in center, but Judge is a natural right fielder. That is where he is at his, that's where he's his strongest. So center field's really good, right field's really good. Left field is the only position where there's slight concerns defensively. You know, Stanton's not that good um, out there. Maybe Oswaldo Cabrera, but he has not played left field in his minor league career. If he has, he's played there maybe once or twice. I mean, he's a natural infielder, not an outfielder, but look at how well he adjusted to right field. He can probably do the same for left. Then maybe Andrew Benintendi could play in left if he returns. I mean... Benny won a gold glove before. He's a little bit worse than the gold glove would make you think he is. He's probably an average defender. But still, the Yankees' defense 
is now ridiculously ridiculously good. Um, so I'm excited to see how that can play out, especially in the postseason. A lot of the Yankee teams in the past have had bad defense in the postseason. It's one of the things a lot of fans have talked about, how the pitching and the defense has been a letdown and the bats haven't carried. This team is the most well-rounded Yankees team in my memory for the last like five years. You know, some people might disagree with that, but they're a well-rounded team. And if LeMahieu comes back healthy, they have a really, really good shot in the postseason. But let's hope they finish out this regular season really strong.